Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is a love romantic relationship reading for you Capricorn. This is a special session for Capricorn friends. This is um, love opportunity. Who is coming towards Capricorn? What is the love opportunity for Capricorn? What is romantic and love opportunity coming towards Capricorn please? I'm gonna do three reading Capricorn. Right? Um, someone in the past someone recent and someone in the future okay please universe what can i get for capricorn love opportunity who is coming towards capricorn in their love romantic relationship or dating or getting to know our in-betweeners please capricorn friends future new love future please I hope you're doing well guys this is for you thank you so much for your generous donation this week and if you want to further connect my with me please don't forget to click the notification bell click like and subscribe and also check the description box below because you would see the details of my instagram account my etsy store i'm still working on the etsy store but yeah it will have a product soon okay okay future please future future okay oh okay felt like that's needing more awesome okay so let's start with the first three cards on top this is this is someone in your past um so there's a someone in the past an opportunity f for you and a past person to um to connect page of pentacles this is a message it's a call it's a practical effort it's not very obvious when I, whenever i see page of pentacles um it is always a message or a call or a practical action where um it's not real it's not indirectly it's indirectly linked to love or romantic but because you are you have history with this person um they're kind of checking in all right so there's a past person aries leo sag capricorn taurus or a virgo that um actually they don't know what they're doing <laughs> okay they just really want to be nosy and check in on how you are a capricorn um when you reply like there's gonna be for some of you if there was an exchange of message or a call like they don't know what to do after that it's more of i'm checking in there's still interest mutual interest in here all right someone in the past um but what do i do with this like they know that you might still be interested or they are interested um so what do i do what is next so that's that's the challenge in here so this is, there's someone in your past that would touch base probably to to say hey, to greet you a merry christmas or to say you know to how you know, house things with you um there's still there's still a romantic and you know interest with, with with within this person um but they don't know what to do with what it's more of because king of wands is in reverse and it's facing the page of pentacles like i don't know what i'm doing all right your person in the past would message you would call you they actually don't know why they're doing that like they don't understand why they're doing this thing this call this message to you it's definitely connected to um to a past romantic for example oh i remember you today because i watch um charlie's angels and um i i i watched you know i i remember i re oh the message could be oh i remember i remember you today um hi how are you um i remember you today because i was watching this movie and that movie um you were still a couple so there's a romantic memory attached as why this person is messaging you like it's it's a spur a spur of the moment okay so it will depend it will div it will be different from each one of you but they will be in touch okay i don't think it would last long so if you want to shoot them with queries and questions it's your time like if you want to have closure because they're kind of confused they don't understand what they're bringing towards you so i don't think it would last 
But again, it depends on the content. It depends on the message. Because you could explore, you know, Page of Pentacles. This is still a por an opportunity. That it's more of if they message you, Capricorn, you can explore so that they could understand why they feel about you. Because you know, because it's a spur of the moment where I watched this movie and I was, you know, I've I've seen this movie in the past and I was with Capricorn when I watched the movie and we were a couple. So they're in short they're reminiscing the feelings that they've got with you in the past. That's why they call you, they text you. So but they don't understand. So it's because this is your reading Capricorn, so you can explore. You can shoot them with the right question for them to understand. If you're interested. If you're not interested then you could have a friendly exchange of communication. But I felt like there's an opportunity, all right? There's an opportunity in here, in your past, but they're confused. So you have to take charge and explore. Ask the right question on how to further use this opportunity, okay? Now, this is in the past. This is recent, all right? Recent. So for the recent one, it could be you break up. There's some sadness in here. Um, they don't want to take a risk. Um, it's more of let's cool off. All right? I don't think this person is surrendering. There's a situation of cool off because you fight or there's a bit of a mess because one person is sad and missing the other person. But they don't want to take a risk communicating, connecting right now because there's a combination of angry and sadness. Okay, They're still around. All right? They're still around. They're just, I'd say, cooling off. Like, I'm just cooling up, relaxing in here because you're still upset with me and I'm sad about that. So I don't want to take a risk to, to, to explode. You know, there's, there's a feeling of one, one person is going to explode, but the other person is missing the other person. Okay. I don't think this is this recent connection. It's not the end. All right. It's not the end. Um, yeah. August, May, zero. Yeah. It's, it's. It would it would start all over again, but right now this recent connection, um, they miss you, they think about you, but it's just too I'd say it's too risky to do it now. Okay, um, I don't think they are surrendering because I'm seeing the the number zero. They would connect, but it has to be let's start all over again because there is an attachment of pain or disappointment. So the next course of action from this person, let's start all over again. Okay. This could be a Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And the Fool, it's looking like um, it's looking like Pisces or there's a Virgo energy in here. Okay? So very specific for some of you. This is recent. Now, futuristically, this is interesting. Okay? This is interesting. So futuristically, you have an op... You will be heartbreak... Heartbreak... <laughs> Like this is a situation, a Capricorn, where you're so down, you separated from a long-term relationship or you've got this strong soulmate connection. And in short, this is a rebound, okay? So you're going to meet someone around January time, Capricorn, a rebound. Like you're so down, someone rejected you, someone's not ignoring you, ghosted you, or because there's a Gemini card here. Um, it's in reverse. So you've, you've got this long-term relationship and it's not working. It's break up, ace of sword. It's, it's, I'd say this is really a fuck up, you know, day or time of your life where you're so down. Things like it's so complicated. Like you are miserable in terms of love, romantic. Like it's, it's like, it's, it's an energy of it's the, it's January, 2020 and my love life is a mess so this is where your um your superman or your wonder woman will come along okay you will meet this person in a bar in a drinking session someone where you, you attended a party and there's a drink and you are you're actually complaining about you know that it, it's gonna be obvious that um for some of you, you're gonna be wasted when you meet this person, and you got you're gonna be talking about your shitty love life or dating, and it's just fun because this is actually where 
you would or this person would be interested or attracted to you because um, this, this two of cups this is a conversation so you will have a conversation to a person to someone who you will meet around december to january time where the topic is about your failure about love romantic dating relation this failure you'll open up with this person i felt like you're drunk or you had a drink a couple of alcohol and you start talking and this person is just in well, I said, I'd, I'd, I'd say they're in disbelief that you are sharing this information to them. They won't be put off. They would look at you as, I'd say, you're just really vulnerable. They won't take advantage to you. In fact, they would see you as someone who's, who's just, who's, who's, who's experienced love and failure. So this is a good thing because, yeah, um, um, it's really interesting the dynamic on how you would start off as as a friends and dating it's really really good because you will get this person's attention by you venting about what happened to your your love situation they would they would find you funny like they would find you um hot mess all right you're you're hot mess with them like you're messy but you're hot so there's something sexy about probably how you deliver it like you know it's a person it's a person who's bitching about their love romantic relationship and this 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 person that you would be sharing or would be overhearing about your venting they would be interested that oh i you're still standing you know it's it's really more of oh she's still standing or he's still standing after all what happened to him or her she's still standing there and she can laugh with or he can laugh with whatever it is that took place in the past. So there's that love opportunity. I'm laughing actually. Um, so f like around December, end of December to January time, you would meet someone who would, I'd say, you're in a mess, but they find you hot. Hot mess. <laughs> Good luck to this. Okay. This is really interesting. Unexpected. This is unexpected unexpected connection this is um capricorn this is a song you fell in love in a hopeless place you fell in love in a hopeless place this might play in the bar but it's interesting okay so funny so thank you cap and i'll see you soon again bye bye